Hunter Biden's son or Don Jr. daughter? Are you really going to make me start the YouTube video with that? It's Hunter Biden's son. Now, <laughs> did you see the... In the trial, they had like the... Um, one of his acquaintances was talking about spending time with Hunter Biden. And it was like... Uh, he invited me over. He was listening to Fleet Foxes and smoking crack. He just had a really good energy. Like, I felt really safe around him. He was taking a new hit of crack, like, every 20 minutes or so. I was like, man, this is... I didn't know... I, I, I'm careful about the way that I'm phrasing this. I didn't know that you could be, like, a chill guy on crack. Maybe the war on drugs propaganda, like, worked too well on me. I thought it made you crazy. I thought it was just, like, one of those drugs that, like, makes you see the devil or something. Which Fleet Foxes album, though? You're right, it better have been Helpless Blues. I don't think I said a real word there. It's not having it that makes you crazy. Maybe that's my problem, man. Because I've never had it. Son of a bitch, three pairs. Anyway, I'm... <laughs> I thought I lost, actually. I'm kind of a Fleet Foxes guy, at least like, you know, 09 to 2011. So that's why I gotta say Hunter Biden's son. I'm not really familiar with what the other, you know, realities of the situation are, so I'm just gonna shut my mouth. <laughs> I don't really want this, but there's no reason not to take it. What's new on r slash meth? I haven't been in a while. Thank you for asking, though. It's true. I do occasionally visit r slash meth. <clears throat> I will say I think it's kind of like spiritually detestable. But as someone who doesn't have a lot of familiarity, like firsthand experience with drugs, it can be interesting to go to r slash drug name and then like just seeing what they're talking about it's a bit like gawking don't get me wrong that's why it's spiritually detestable these are real human beings but like my knowledge of meth essentially just came from like breaking bad right and then like walking around so like i i just assumed that the top post on our meth would be like you know how to like pull an atm out of a bank building or something like that but mostly it's just people that are like you know, hey, just got my dose thwacked out of my mind, cleaned my whole house, have been up for 36 hours straight. And then the top comments are like, try to get some sleep and please eat a meal. Like it's just, they're just normal people trying to like, you know, trying to make it through. We have telescope. Telescope is going, telescope and, and constellation go crazy together, man. This is crazy. All the psychedelic subs are so funny. I, I don't think I've ever been. And I don't mean on vacation. Probably make use of a chair. I mean, you should always buy an early devil card because it costs three bucks and it can give you three bucks like immediately, but. Come visit sometime. I don't, I don't know the reticate though. Is there like a no, no, does anybody else know if this is really what I look like? Have I always looked like this? Is that like the number one rule of our LSD? No posts of this is what I look like six hours ago and this is what I look like after the LSD hits. Have I changed or do I look the same? You should be pants maxing at all times. No, is this what it's gonna be like forever posting? Number one rule. This is not what it's gonna be like forever. You are temporarily, psychologically affected by a hallucinogen. 
how about you just gave me like like one more pair, you know? Like how about you just like didn't lose me the run? We don't have any fucking water. Thank you so much for this. I will I will play two pair because it's better, man. The top post on one of the subs is a guy posting his hand saying, wow. <laughs> I mean, what do you expect? Best beach in Vancouver? I would have to say, I mean, Jericho Beach, Kitts Beach, Spanish Banks, they got their appeal, especially if you live in the area. There is something beautiful about English Bay. Uh, if you can especially go on a time when it's not overrun by people, i.e. like the Festival of Lights fireworks displays and stuff. Wreck Beach? I've never been. Uh, info for the, the viewers. That is the nude beach. But honestly, I've seen posts on r slash Vancouver about Wreck Beach, and I, I, I try not to let the internet, like, inform too much of my experience for things that I've never actually experienced. But I've seen posts from people that are like, Wreck Beach used to be cool, but now, like, that the secret's out, we get lots of creeps, and then it seems like there's, like, a, a fight every single day where, like, people are just hanging out looking at nude people, even though they got all their clothes on, and then, like, some nudist comes over to them and, like, yells at them that that's not cool. Just seems like kind of like a different vibe. <laughs> It is a beautiful beach with a nice vibe. I just, like, here's the thing. I, I leave the nudity to the nudists. I'm not gonna go kibitz on the nude beach because I'm not a nudist myself. I'll, I'll, I'll leave that to them. I'm not a, I'm not a nudist myself. I'm gonna go crazy here. I'm gonna create a rare joker. That's a good one. That's, it might even be like one of the best. Certainly beats the flush joker we weren't using at all. You, dude, this run is like, it's on autopilot right now. All we need is uh, econ. I bought chocolate shroom truffles from a guy in a Speedo on Wreck Beach when I was at UBC. See, this is why I'm telling people, you shouldn't be afraid to drink moonshine. You just get a vibe off the person that's selling you the substance. Is it legal? Not strictly speaking at all, probably, but... <laughs> they were the best shrooms I've ever had. Okay, that's... Listen, you're glamorizing it too much. You're romanticizing the moment a little bit too much. I love it for you, but... I don't know what that means. What were they, like portobellos or, or something? Oyster mushrooms? Yeah, really? Better than truffles? Really? It's too late for you. It's too late for you, my friend. I love you, but it's too late for you. You're useless, because we're just trying to make two pair. It's kind of crazy I can give my friends weed legally, but not moonshine. Well, it, I, it's crazy, because, like, I thought... Or you thought that we're on the same page, but we're actually, like, definitely not on the same page. I think it, you definitely, like, you could get in trouble giving somebody bad moonshine. <laughs> I think if you grow your own weed and you give it to your friend, it's hard to go wrong, right? The worst case scenario, like, he's going to be smoking oregano. That's not that bad. Like, bad moonshine can, can ruin your life, for sure. That's why I'm saying... If somebody offers you moonshine, you look at them and you're like, do you drink this? And if they say yes and they look relatively normal, then you, you're, you know, maybe live a little. I said maybe live a little, by the way. Don't, I don't want to end up in court over this. Because I don't know if I can use the, like, your honor, it was funny defense. I don't know if that flies. I would like more tarot cards, thank you. Anti-5 already? Orange steak?
Ain't nothing but a peanut. I'm a little scared, I guess, that the lucky card didn't even get us to win in one. Oh, I guess because Campfire is not buffed anymore. Just ordered DoorDash based on your advice, NL, and didn't tip. Thank you. You've taken me, uh, you, you've, you've taken half a measure when I would like for you to take a full measure. Do I really just want another planet, I guess? You shouldn't be order ordering DoorDash to begin with, is my opinion. Not that you shouldn't tip. If anything, when you order DoorDash, you should tip extra because you don't deserve to have money. Uh, let me think about that. That might be a little harsh. Hopefully it made you exhale a little louder out of your nose, though. I'll never be cooked. I knew it. <laughs> Did you manage the 90s max in Japan? Yeah, yeah, I would say. I paid with cash. You haven't been getting much mileage out of campfire? You, you don't need campfire until you need it. At least that's my philosophy. Like, there's no, I guess there's an economic advantage to like winning in a cup in one hand instead of like winning in multiple hands. But I feel like we, we don't need to burn our econ up campfire maxing unless we're going to lose. But the scaling? Librarian, do you even play Balatro? Like, do you even know how this game works? The scaling breaks down after uh, each ante. Campfire's bait? It's not bait, it's probably like one of the best jokers in the game. It's extremely good. No, I mean the pants. Oh, the pants, you're right about the pants. That's for certain. You should be pants maxing at all times. I play Balatro, okay, okay, caught, caught. Let's inform this guy, let's inform this guy with knowledge. Discards are good. You know what, just, just for you guys, I will give it a little kickstart here. Just a little bit. Ramen? Guess not. <laughs> hmm. You hear that? What's the worst Joker in the game, in your opinion? I really feel like, is it Luchador or Matador? The one that gives you like eight bucks when you trigger the boss blind? I literally feel like it does nothing. It's really good. The idea of it is really good, except it doesn't do anything. Like almost all the boss blinds don't trigger anything on Matador. So you're like, what is this motherfucker doing taking up a Joker spot when he doesn't even, he doesn't affect my score or my econ. It's like a, a Joker that does nothing. The plus four Joker. I actually, I, I was like leading the charge that that Joker is ass and I feel bad about it now because I actually feel like the plus four Joker, while not amazing, is actually good when you consider the fact that it's reliable and it's cheap. Just keep playing that. Like it being so cheap, getting it on an early ante is actually like transformative. And then you just sell it later. I appreciate what he what he does for us. Where are we? What did we just do? We just beat 90,000, but it was kind of tough. Honestly, we may find ourselves in a position where we sell mime at some point. I forgot we only have one fucking space, bro. Come on. <laughs> nah, nah, nah. Right there. That's something. 2.3, 1.75. Yeah, Jimbo is an honest joker. 
Which I think is important because like the Matador is the most dishonest joker in the game. He doesn't do anything. Spooky ass boss blinds. Double IPA daughter or moonshine son. Listen, folks, at the end of the day, I would still take double IPA daughter because like those businesses have to go through some kind of like governmental oversight. Please don't fuck me on this one. They fucked me! Now that stings. Run me back. Nah, I should have sold mime. Why didn't I sell mime, man? How about Seltzer, son? That's not in the same category. It's a different category. What a scam. Rancid vibes. <laughs> Sometimes you can just tell. Save ourselves the trouble. Can't buy a Thrill Son or Asia Daughter? <clears throat> it's Asia Daughter, brother. I'm sorry. And again, people are going to be like, well, you always take the daughter? Okay, well, stop making the daughter better, okay? The most cringeworthy thing about... Oh! I thought this was Jimbo, sorry. Most cringeworthy thing about my takes in music, uh, from a Gen Z perspective at least, is that I will always value an album over a collection of songs. So something like, Can't Buy a Thrill has got a lot of great songs on it. Asia, it's a masterwork of an album. Both great, two, two different things, and I do tend to elevate one above the other, honestly. Eight ball. I would theme a whole run around eight ball for no reason. Why not? Let's give it a try. Okay, but we're not I, like, listen, I got like two hours left on stream. I can't just answer these dilemmas for two hours. It's gonna rot my brain. We gotta get into some more serious conversation. Fuck you, buddy. Fuck you. Oh, your ears were ringing? Yeah, it's because we were talking shit, you piece of garbage. Nah, you're cool. You're just kidding. Leave. You always go rocket. You're asking me to pick my top three tracks on Siamese Dream? Boom. Always go rocket. What else? Side one, track one. Cherub Rock, bitch. Mm, I don't know. Maybe 1979 third? Maybe Mayonnaise? Mayonnaise third? Maybe Mayonnaise third? Maybe Mayonnaise third. Yeah. How much money does it need to give you to be good? It doesn't trigger, bro. It could be like a billion dollars. 1979 is on Melancholy. Hang on, I'm, I'm, I'm getting... Uh, I'm getting albums confused in my head. Melancholy is the album cover where he's on the star. He's got like a, a, a Tim Burton, Ed Wood type thing going on, right? And then Siamese Dream is the one with the two kids and it's kind of taken through like a fuzzy filter. You got it, okay. Any daycare families you got play dates with? I thank you for asking. Actually do. After after stream today, I've been invited to a barbecue by um I don't even know how to describe it. When, we, when our daughter enrolled in this school, the school paired us up with a family who currently has a kid in kindergarten. So they're like a mentor family for us. And they, we finally got in contact and they were like, hey, do you want to come to this barbecue? And I was like, yeah, let's do it. The Dementors? I hope not. Mostly because I'm not familiar with Harry Potter, so I don't really know what a Dementor is. But it, it doesn't sound good. It doesn't sound good. Just don't fuck it up. You don't even understand. I'm coming in like so hot on this one. 
Like, we're, we're coming off of, like, if my daughter has bad behavior, I can be like, sorry, she's a little jet lagged. We just got back from two weeks away. Oh, where were you? Oh, we were in South Korea and Japan. Oh, why'd you choose to go there? Well, my wife really likes Japan and she's also South Korean. So we wanted our daughter to see like, a, you know, it's like the conversation is going to flow so easily. They'll probably be like, oh, cool, we summered in Bruges last year. And I'll be like, that's sick. And then in my head, I'm going to be like, Belgium, right? Belgium, the Netherlands? I don't know. I wouldn't worry about it. It's it, like, it's it's free. It's a free space. CEO of small talk. <laughs> summered is such an ick word. Not if you've done it. Two pairs popping. I think this is a skip. And then it's you. Okay, we, we got a good setup here. It would be beautiful to actually get uh, the opportunity to interface with 8-Ball. What do you think about that? No, not possible. Thanks, have a good day. You kind of swagged up on Friday? I mean, I don't want to brag. I'm kind of swagged up every day. But today, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm flexing a little bit. I'm wearing the Kirkland Signature Eddie Bauer. How'd you get that? My wife gave it to me as a birthday present. I try not to think about the ramifications of that too much. It's kind of sick, though. I keep the motherfucking thing on me, is what I'm trying to say. It's all... I mean, Baron is amazing. But, I mean, we don't really, we're not really running Baron, but maybe we could. You know what? Let's, let's do it. It's a good Joker. All of our other Jokers are disposable anyway. You're 13 Molt. You're a better version. You getting the chain soon? I gotta butter my wife up a little bit. She's not letting me. Don't get it twisted. I do not wear the pants in this house. I gotta, I gotta make a good, like, a good offer. I don't know. I gotta, I gotta find a way to, to finesse it. You gotta start with something small. What do you think? Maybe like a septum piercing and then work up to the gold chain? Oh, cool. I can't even copy an eight. What, what the fuck are you doing here, eight ball? You don't do anything. How about a cool eight in the pack? It is an eight. Get a Prince Albert. I'm definitely not about that. That one's not for me. Also, didn't we? T I don't. I don't think Justin's still here. But didn't we talk about that during Lethal Company? And then Justin and Corey were like, "Yeah, I have friends who got it, and they said it fucking sucked ass," which makes a whole lot of sense. Fourteen dollars, please, God. Ouija to turn everything into a king. Deja vu to. Does deja vu re trigger on Baron Kings? Yes. Thank you. I'm not a Baron Andy. All I know is that whenever anyone does a Balatro competition, everybody's deck has Baron in it. So obviously it must. It must do something. Decrease level of played poker hands. Excuse me? How about giving me like a pair or something? Two pairs is good. I'll, I'm, I got no problems playing my... No! No, it is... Well... It's okay. How's pair doing? Pair is level one. I hate to deprecate it a little bit though. Would you be a gold or a silver chain, Andy? Honestly, people told me that um, for my like skin tone, silver works better. I personally just have to disagree. I feel like the gold just has more swag associated with it. We're in trouble, man. Like, we just lost our banana as well. One of each. Now we're talking.
hairy dudes love gold. Listen, I, <laughs> I don't know where it comes from, but I find it hard to disagree. How about... I don't want to play my kings, though. I'm actually pissed off. I've played six eights and I've gotten none pairs. Or none, none tarot cards. Oh no, even, even sound oriented is given the O sevens in the chat. <laughs> so you know you're cooked. My driver! Okay, that didn't go anywhere. Yup, I brought the Nebula deck back from the dead. Yup, I cloned it twice. Sorry, I'm not, I, again, I was away for a while. I'm not fully up to date on the most recent 2x Pimpy meme. You kind of go crazy. You, you kind of, you could, I can match your freak. I can match, a lot of people would say I couldn't. I'm gonna, I can match your freak. The Nebula deck has been removed from the cycle of Samsara. F in chat, please, for that. Is that real? By the way, I saw, you know, the last time we played Jackbox, we played Joke Boat, and a good 2x Pimpy joke lost. I saw... Worst Joker in the game, PS. I saw Sound Oriented tweet. 2x Pimpy lost in Joke Boat, it's over. I replied and said it should have won or something like that. I want you to know that I think you, and this is a, a you for everybody, I think you should be able to tweet about Northern Lion without Northern Lion getting into the mentions, okay? But I want you to know that God has ordained that that's not the case because the Twitter algorithm serves me tweets about myself from people that I don't necessarily follow. So I'm, I'm not out there name searching myself, just trying to like, you know, insert myself into the conversation. Like I librarian, I got served a tweet today. It was the person who got like a tattoo of fish. And then it was like NL voice, like we are the fish brother. I clicked the heart on that because it showed up in my feed. I didn't search for it. It, it, it finds me, man. You know what? We're going 10-4. Eternal 10-4. Eternal Jokers with Madness. We have reinserted ourselves into the cycle of Samsara. Dump it. Play it. Isn't that a bad thing? The cycle of Samsara or seeing tweets about yourself? Honestly, like seeing tweets about myself has been okay because most people are like pretty positive. This, I think I'll buy. No reason to buy this, it's gonna get killed. Play this one out to buff this guy. And we might as well earn some freaking capital off this man. Beautiful draw, by the way. <clears throat> I'm not reading that out loud. Did I laugh? Yes. I'm not reading it out loud. Yes, there was the tweet from Rocco from Mega64 that said, once again, having the experience where like everybody's recommending me a streamer and says you'll love this guy and then I watch the clips and I hate him and I was like oh fuck that's definitely about me <laughs> and then uh, I, I was like what the hell and then people were like it's not an L don't worry it's not an L it's another bald streamer and I was like I don't know it's his right if, he, if he's I would be annoyed too if people were hitting me with like you gotta see oh did you see what Squeak said you gotta see what Squeak said can you please reply with what Squeak, Squeak said and I'm like man I hate that guy so I understand you're, it's your right to have an opinion I can't be mad at you for that. Clip it. 
Why are you tweaking like the boss from Smiling Friends? You will not find yourself in the kingdom of the Lord, just so you know. What are you talking about? I don't know what that means. <laughs> what does it mean? Aces and tens. We also hate squeaks. You got me twisted. I love squeaks. A, he's funny. He tells funny stories on his stream, even if they are the same ones from time to time. It happens to all of us, especially because as a streamer, like that's where the stories stop because you stop going outside after that. So like you're really relying on the lived experience from before you downloaded OBS. So I understand it more than anybody else. And he carried my ass big time in the house flipper competition. Like, remember the, in phase three of the house flipper competition, my 30 minute setup, as soon as I left, because I had to pick up my daughter from daycare, he just deleted it and then built like a whole murder mystery in like 70 minutes. Like, he, Squeaks is goaded, man. Blue Joker kind of good. It's gonna die immediately. Like, why am I even taking the Jokers? <laughs> I guess I'll take this because it'll sell for the most amount of money. And then I'll open this to see if we get an Eternal. Wait, what What blind are we on? We can keep Stuntman for a second. Yo, oh, that's huge. Is it still going to die? No, it's only on small blind, big blind. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is good tech. So then we get Stuntman for one round. We win instantly, and then we sell it. You honestly, no disrespect, Chad. Many of you are like, the consensus is wrong in Balatro a lot of the time. You guys are smart, like on an individual level, as long as you only parrot the smart comments, but like in aggregate. You remember what Tommy Lee Jones said in Men in Black? Now, is Eternal Acrobat good enough? I gotta think that it is. No thanks. Day 9 yesterday coined the word bald mind as the united consciousness of all bald streamers. Do you agree it exists? With all due respect, you don't bring that shit in here, okay? We're talking about ways for your soul to experience the light of heaven. <laughs> I'm done with the bald jokes. This is the thing, is like guys go bald and then they step into the bald brotherhood and we welcome them with open arms. But I don't want to go over baldness 101 when I've been bald. This is my third decade of being bald. I was bald in the 00s. I was bald in the 10s and I'm still bald in the 20s. You're gonna come in here and hit me with the Pachycephalosaurus tweet, do bald men fight like this, what you eggs, he stabs him. Listen, you gotta, that's why you always start in like the junior associates before you level up into this executive class of baldness, okay? Because we've, we've been through that stuff. No disrespect, of course. Sounds like you're due. You know you're bald when you're actually mad that like your hair grows because you have to shave it. Like that's how bald I am. I'm like, I wish this shit would stop growing. It's a no, I wish it would just like completely fall out. I don't really care about even Steven. Yes, I understand that it does something for us with walkie talkie, but we can do better. We can do better. With only one Joker spot remaining, essentially, we can do better. You mustn't be afraid to dream a little bigger. Plus two Inception reference. I, actually, Inception is referencing me in that line. I wrote it when I was seven. In my diary. When I was writing about Lara Croft. K 
Can madness not destroy itself? My brother, we should be so lucky. Can madness not destroy itself? What a com what a question. It's philosophical, it's psychological. Oh, you're talking about Ballager, you're talking about the game. I don't know about all of that. Aquafina voice. Okay, we do we need this last Joker. We also need better tarot cards that can put us into a position where we can make more tens and fours. You actually don't need better jokers? I think I do. I, I know I do. Because this is looking like fucking ass, bro. Fuck being broke, I'm just trying to survive. Why don't you grow out the hair you do have? Why do you think, brother? Because it looks like fucking garbage. Times three molts. Well... <laughs> well... Well... Yeah, not even close. Okay, we. you know what? Tomia slash marker Balatro 2 there.